Where are my glasses? Hold on. There we go. That's better. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name's Elena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm doing another um, reread with me video. I did one like a while back on my channel. Also, I'm making coffee. It's the same one again. It's the same one I always make. Um, but I made one on my channel a while ago, and it was Reread Lady Midnight with me by Cassandra Clare. If you'd like to watch that one, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, but that one has spoilers in it, and this video will have one too. But today, I'm going to start my reread of Ricochet by Kristen Beccarici. Um, it's the second book in the Addicted Calloway Sisters series. Well, the Addicted series, but I kind of group them together. Um, it's a novella, so it shouldn't take me that long to reread. And I've already ordered the third one, um, because I didn't have the third one, but I have most of the other ones that are out from the Berkeley, uh, republishings, um, like those editions. Yeah, I didn't have the third one. I have the third one now. Well, I will. Because I'm going on holiday, so by the time that I come back, it'll have arrived. Doesn't matter, I'm reading Ricochet, I'm rereading it, and we're gonna do it together. Because I don't want to go through that pain alone. Because the book is very depressing. Okay, I have my coffee, let's go. I was flipping through Addicted to You to try and figure out um, what kind of color I used for the sparkly gel pen. Um, so I could use the same one in Ricochet, and I realized I used pink. And I was wondering if I should do purple for Ricochet because it's purple, or if I should just continue with pink so I can have a designated cover for color. So I could have a designated color for each couple, like pink could be for Lily and Lo, and blue can be for Connor and Rose, and then green can be for Rike and Daisy. And I feel like I might do that even though this one's purple. Maybe I'll use the purple sparkly gel pen for just like moments that I really like and want to underline or circle with like my little glittery gel pen. I feel like I might do that. My point was I started then rereading scenes and then I started crying and I've calmed down now which is why I filmed this clip but that was not a good idea. I think this is when the characters are at their lowest and I know they have very low moments deeper into the series but I feel like this is when they're at their lowest because they haven't acknowledged the, the addictions and they do like the last 20 like percent of the book but like this book ruins you because they're not aware of it or if they are aware of it they don't care at least like in the other books when they have hard moments at least they're on the road to recovery and they've acknowledged the addictions so this in my opinion is the most heartbreaking and this is is very yes this is how i felt after reading this book so that's why i didn't actually film a uh, rereading vlog um, for Addicted to You because I knew it was going to be way too personal and I didn't want that on the internet. Um, I'm sorry, we're not that close right now, okay? Um, but I, yeah. Anyways, this video isn't about Addicted to You. It's about Ricochet. Like, like I said, it's pretty short. It's 270 pages. I just checked. And then there's like a bunch of bonus content. I don't really count that because I feel like I've already read the book when I finished the part that's actually just the book and then the bonus content is just like mm, like a little treat afterwards but yeah okay we're gonna start oh, oh I need to get my supplies hold on okay that's better I don't have to be embarrassed anymore okay um so my supplies I am gonna use my purple highlighter because the book is purple. I match my highlighter to my book. Um, and then we have my annotation pen and everything. And I need to pick my little sparkly gel pen. So I'm taking purple, I'm taking pink, and I'm taking blue. Just because I feel like there might be Connor and Rose seams. In Ricochet, I feel like I vaguely remember something like that. If you want me to do a more in-depth video of how I annotate and tab and stuff like that, I can do that. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, let's start. <laughs>
already need to read a passage from the book. Before I do that, I would just like to say, I don't want to hear anything, whether it's hate or criticism, for Lillian Lowe, for Riken Daisy, for Connor and Rose, I don't care. Miss me with that, okay? I found something in these books that connected with me. If you don't like them, that's fine. This is not a place where you get to hate on them. You can express your opinion and that's fine, but just know that these characters are my babies. I also would just like to say I don't really understand when people don't like Lily as a character because I want to hug her so badly. And maybe it's because I'm finding bits of myself that I didn't want to acknowledge in Lily. And that is like warping my whole brain. Maybe that's what it is. But I adore her. I would do anything for her. And I realize that she's a book character and I sound like I'm talking about a family member. But that's literally how I feel about her. Okay, speaking of Lily, listen, listen to this. Because Lo went to rehab, right? So she's alone with Rose. My throat closed up at the idea and my heart dropped and my head spun. Now that the moment has arrived, I realize that he took a piece of me with him. When I told this to Rose, she patted my shoulder and said I was being irrational. That's easy for her to say. She's intelligent, confident, and independent. Everything I'm not. Lily Calloway, I love you so much. Please, you're all of those things too. This book hurts already and I'm on page two. In case anyone would like to know, Daisy Calloway is my favorite character out of the Addicted Calloway Sisters series, and she is my comfort character, and I will protect her with my life. Thank you. I forgot this quote was in Ricochet. This is like one of my favorite quotes of the whole series, and I forgot it's in this book, and I forgot it's on page eight. It's about Daisy. And it's Lily thinking about Daisy and like how outgoing she is when she's not around their mom. And she goes, more than anything, I think Daisy just wants to be free. I can't do this. There we go. Lives were ruined. I desperately need to update you because I only have like 20 pages left uh, because I've been reading today and this is the first chance that I'm getting to update you on uh, how it's going. I think a lot of people don't like this novella. Um, I personally really like it just because we get to finally see them on their journey and by them I mean Lily and Lo <laughs> because Lo's in rehab and Lily is getting therapy and stuff like that and we get a lot of the side characters because there's they're very crucial to Lily and the story and stuff like that and Daisy's my favorite character so I really enjoy having her in here um and I just passed a very good line where um I think it's the first time that Lily and Lo video chat um and right at the end um Lily kind of regresses and stuff like that so she's really like sad and depressed and disappointed in herself um and Lo is trying to make her feel better and he's like Oh, imagine I'm there with you, like, I'm hugging you, I'm there for you. Like, I kiss your forehead, you start falling asleep on my chest, and stuff like that, and it's so adorable. And I completely forgot that this line was in this book. As you can see, I've annotated. Um, and he says, I love you, and no other man will ever say those words and mean them the way I do. I cried. When I read this. There's a clip on here. I don't know if I'm going to put it in. If I do end up putting it in, you're obviously going to see it now. If not, better luck next time. But holy shit. Um, uh, I would also like to say that I'm thriving for sober Lauren Hale because he's so mean in a good way. And Lily and Reich were discussing it. Reich was asking Lily like, oh, how is he? And she was like, oh, well, he's mean, but like in a good way, you know? Does that make sense? And Reich went, yeah, it's low, so it makes sense. It's exactly that. Um, but yeah, and I'm also living for Lily being an overprotective um, bigger sister, older sister to Daisy because Daisy is so fucking alone. I won't get into it because that would be spoilers for the other books. But yeah.
um, I just, I really like this book. It's not anywhere near like five stars. Well, it is kind of near five stars, but it's not five stars. Um, but it's still really good and I really like it. And I feel like it was, it's actually really necessary to the story just so you can see how, um, much of a struggle Lily has by herself and how much Lauren impacts how Lily is doing and how codependent they are and then how they get from that codependency being toxic to it being healthy. And as a psychology student, I actually really enjoy the um, therapy scenes described with Lily. Um, I obviously can't tell if they're really good or not or if they're realistic or not, but they look and seem really good and I felt that the first time that I read it as well but obviously now I have a bit more knowledge about psychology because I'm halfway through my studies and it's really good again not professional so I can't really say for sure but in my opinion it is really good and I really enjoyed seeing it and dissecting those scenes from a different point of view but yeah I'm gonna now finish this and then probably cry 12 seconds later Yes, I'm about to cry. Mind your own business. But Reich apologize. Can you shut up? Reich apologizing to Lily. And then at the end, he like pats her shoulder. He's like, you're okay, Calloway. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. I love their friendship so much. Oh my god. Okay. I finished rereading Ricochet. Um, I don't know the rating that I'm gonna give it because when I reread Addicted to You, I originally gave it four stars, and then when I reread it, I gave it 4.25 stars. And I had this rated as 4.25 stars, and now I'm thinking, should I up the rating to 4.5? Because I do think I like this a little bit better than Addicted to You. But I do like them more when I'm rereading them now, so it makes sense to up the rating to both of them. I don't know. Um, I will see. But I did cry. And I was going to say I forgot, but I didn't forget. I think I just repressed it in my head. Um, the fact that Lily gets to the bottom of her addiction and why she's addicted in Ricochet. And that was painful to read. Um because she explains it in the most harrowing way possible. Um, and it's basically because her mom like never fucking cared about her. And she goes, when the school sent me to the remedial math in third grade, I think that was the last time my mother paid attention to me. I wasn't sociable like Poppy, I wasn't smart like Rose, and I never grew tall and beautiful like Daisy. I think I was something she wished she could return, like a generic handbag, but she couldn't. So she just acted like I didn't exist. That is the saddest thing I've ever read in my life. And then she says, I never felt like she loved me. I never felt worthy enough. The fact that she thinks that she has to earn her mother's love. You don't have to earn your parents' love. They should, they should just love you because they're your parents. They should love you for existing. And I, man, I was sobbing reading that. I've composed myself now. But I was a mess like five minutes ago. And yeah, and the bonus, like the bonus scene in um, this book, because it's, you know, republished, um, is a scene from Addicted for now. I'm not going to read that right now because I'm going to want to read the whole book and I don't have it yet. Um, it is ordered though, so I should have it soon. But yeah, um, they also have right at the end, um, notes that the characters have written to their future selves and while all of them are really good um the one that stuck with me is rose's note i'm gonna cry again why am i gonna cry okay rose's note says and never lose your confidence and if you did you can find it in your closet amongst your he heels love always rose and then Connor's note under it says, Dear me, congratulations on life. You've won. Best, Connor. I just love the way that they end their, like, little notes to themselves because they're so, like, in character, obviously, because that's good writing. But, like, Lily ends it with, Goodbye, Lily from the present. And Lo ends it with, From, Lo. And then Rose is, Love always, Rose. And then Best, Connor. And then Daisy's is, Love, Daisy. And then Reich's is just, Reich. I loved it. I, I loved every second of it. Well, 
no, that's a lie, but that's how I feel after reading this book. I'm like, I'm book high right now. Um, but yeah, I think I might do this like rereading video for all the other books. Um, as they come out, I will be rereading and annotating them. So look forward to those. Um, the Addicted For Now one should be coming soon, but also don't quote me on that. But yeah. That is the end of this video. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you'd like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.